So let's say you're a chemistry student and you have a water sample. And being a chemistry student, you've analyzed all the cations and anions in this sample. And because you're a thorough chemistry student, you've measured the temperature and pH. And now you want to know, what does it all mean? For instance, if you're the type of chemist that wonders about toxins, you're going to want to know if this mixture of ions and solutions is going to be harmful to life. Or if you're an engineer, you might be interested in whether these ions are leaning toward forming solids that will foul the pipes in your treatment plant. Or maybe you're interested in climate change and you want to see what will happen to the pH if you change the partial pressure of CO2 over the solution. Really, the number of questions that are possible are as varied as are our human relationships to water. Luckily, we have Minikule Plus to help. For example, if your water sample had 10 to the minus 5 moles of aluminum and 10 to the minus 6 moles of fluoride and 10 to the minus 5 moles of sulfate, and you measured the pH to be 5.1, you could go to Minikule Plus and select aluminum, fluoride, and sulfate, and then press the scan thermal button where the program will look for all the interactions between aluminum, fluoride, and sulfate in the database of over 1,700 chemical species. Then, to set the pH value, you go to the calculation wizard and select the pH tab. Make sure that the calculation type is set to pH as supplied by user and then set the pH value to 5.1. Over in the totals tab, you make sure that you input the molar values for each component. That's it. Then go to the runtime manager, input a name for the output, and press the run button. Minikill will then calculate the distribution of chemical species in your sample and create an output object for you to view. Go to the output manager to answer a wide range of questions about this data like, do any solids form? What's the ionic strength? What's the distribution of species? Are there any particular species that are important? Which species dominate? And what if I want to know about the system over a range of pH? Go to the multi-run manager, select titration as the type of calculation, then press the select variable button. Under the type of variable to select, choose log k, then select the log k of pH, then put in the starting and ending values and the number of points you want in your calculation. Press OK and OK again. Now if you run the calculation, you are creating a series of runs, all at different pH values. It's the same as the single run scenario, but with pH changing along the way. You can go to the output manager and see the chemical speciation for the entire range using tables or graphs of all types. Have fun.